everybody everyone this is Trisha and welcome to my channel and my farmhouse wedding series well this week it is project number five and I'm going to show you how to create this floral chair swag so let me show you what the supplies are going to be and get to crafting all right so for the supplies to create my chair swag or spray I am going to be using a variety of ribbons and of course I'm using the same roses and uh, flower bundles that I have been using for my other videos for my farmhouse theory series and of course I've got the same uh, greeneries I did I do have this extra one here that is a little different I really would like to use some magnolia leaves I could not find them but I really recommend that you try to do these arrangements with some magnolia leaves they look so elegant especially for a farmhouse uh, wedding style it would really elevate everything so as you can see here I've got some fern and I've got some ivy as well I purchased these uh, particular greenery at Hobby Lobby and I got them at half off this large one was $25 so I got it for $12.50 um, this size I don't recall the price on it I mentioned it in the other videos um, but if I recall in a little bit, I'll let you know. I think I've got another one, but I may have already removed the price tag. This one was $12, but again, like I said, I got it 50% off, so it was only $6, $6. So that was a pretty good deal. Okay, so to wrap up my, my swag or my spray, my floral spray, I'm going to use this burlap here. It is a ribbon, and it's nice and wide. Now, you don't have to use this. Of course, you could use any other ribbon. Uh, that you you like that's got this type of a width or more or maybe perhaps you want to use some tulle or even a deco mesh would be great for wrapping around the chair or if you want to use some fabric you can use that as well I'm going to coordinate this burlap with this beautiful ribbon that you see here it has a lovely design to it and I think that will elevate the burlap I do have all these other ribbons I'm considering using this one right below this because it does have little pearls and I think it'll add a little bit extra to it this will be used um, or obviously to wrap around my chair but I do have extra ribbons here that I could also use within the floral spray okay so that being said uh, my flowers I'll just introduce them really quick. I have, again, I've done this in my other videos, but I've got here these Dollar Tree roses. I thought the color was really pretty, and I think they look just fine to coordinate with my Hobby Lobby flowers. Here I've got a um, bush here that has an assortment. Uh, I now know these are dahlias. It's got some roses, some hydrangea. Of course, you would choose the flowers that you like, uh, but just to let you know that you can coordinate, you know, something from the Dollar Tree with something from Hobby Lobby. It looks really well all together. Um, these also, I've got them at half off. Uh, this larger bush again. <laughs> okay, this one was $14.99. So it was $15. I got it for $7.50. And then I also got this one. Uh, this was $8. So I got it for $4. It's got some pretty little lavender flowers. I really love this. And of course, the Dollar Tree one was only a dollar. But of course, you're going to find uh, your florals where you're able to. So, uh, but in case you're curious where I got mine and what I paid for them. Okay. So here I've got some wire uh, stem or some stem wires. This is a 22 gauge, let me pull one out. This is just these long, I think they're about 18 inches of wire here, or maybe they're more. I will measure them and uh, see how long they are. But these come in a variety of gauges. This happens to be a 22 gauge. I think a 22 gauge is nice. Even a 24 would be fine. Uh, of course, the 24 would be a little bit thinner. The higher the number, the thicker it is. So. Um, well, actually, it's the other way around. The higher the number, the thinner it is. Okay, so if you have this uh, 22, you can go. You can vary between 20, 22, and 24. Uh, the 24 is is kind of thin. I wouldn't go as far as a 26. That's way too thin. Uh, you want this to have. You want it to flow. It's going to hang downward, but you also want it to have some body. So don't use a a wire that's way too thin. Okay. Let's push that over. We're going to be using also just regular floral wire. This happens to be a 26 gauge. We're going to need this to wrap around ribbon and such. Uh, you could use chenille stems. Uh, it's up to you if you want to use that. But I'm also going to be using this to wrap some of the stems onto this other wire. So I need something thin. Chenille stems or pipe cleaners 
uh, that would be too thick, it would add too much bulk. Okay, so here I'm going to use some floral tape and I'm using green because I want this to all look more natural. So I'm uh, instead of white, I'm using green, but you can use whatever colors you want to use. For my tools, I've got scissors, wire cutters, and again, I have my hot glue gun. Okay, so I just have that ready to go. Um, it'll probably not get as used as much as my scissors and my wire cutters and wire, but I've got it ready to go. Okay, everyone, let's get to crafting. All right, so I have started uh, by cutting quite a few pieces from this uh, paddle wire. So I've got some here already made. Uh, I don't know exactly how many I'm going to need at this point, but you want to cut a few of them out. Get some, get some already going and cut and ready. If you'd cut too many, you could always save them for another project, or if you're going to be doing this for several uh, chairs uh, at your wedding or party, then of course you're going to need quite a ton of these okay so I've got ahead and cut some ahead uh, so that I can have them ready to just grab I've gone ahead and I pulled out three of these 18 inch wires that's what, that's how long they are they're 18 inch this is what the packaging up here looks like and here's the sizing on the bottom it just says 22 gauge it's a 35 piece packet so it doesn't really tell me the length but I'm just eyeballing it 18 inches and I went ahead and I measured it and it was 18 inches. Okay, so I'm going to use three because I'm going to create a small uh, spray that I want to put or I want to create a small swag and there are going to be three different sprays to create my swag. If you obviously if you want it bigger than what I'm creating, you could triple it, double it, whatever you want. And you can use the same design for some other decor or even if it's for the wedding, maybe you want to hang it on... Uh, maybe on the church doors, maybe on, if it has a double door, maybe you want to hang one on each side, so maybe you want to create something bigger, fuller. So of course you'll use, you'll just double or triple whatever I'm doing, okay? Uh, also this would be great, these particular uh, little swags or floral sprays, whatever you want to call them, um, they could also be hung from the pews on the side in the aisle of the church if you want to do something like that. Or if you don't want or have the... Uh, the budget to create for every chair, you know, where they're sitting in the dining room area. If you don't have a budget to create all this, you could put them, and if you're having an outdoor wedding and maybe you've set some chairs out for the uh, ceremony, maybe at the ends of each chair or at the backs of the, just the chairs that are on the, on the inside row, you know, on the, as you, as they walk along, along the aisle, at least the first chair maybe could have uh, uh, one of these uh, floral sprays. Okay, that being said, I'm sure you guys can think of so many ideas. I'm going to show you how to build this and you can just go from that. Okay, so my the one spray that I'm going to have in the center, I'm going to use the 18 inch uh, length here. Now, it might, I might not build all the way up, you know, because I'm going to start at the bottom, filling it with flowers and leaves and so forth, but I'm going to leave uh, probably just some, uh, maybe four inches or so at the top. So we're going to do about uh, 12 inches or so of um, flowers <laughs> so the next two I want them to be shorter so I want them to be and you could just decide this on your own about how much shorter you want them so we're kind of like creating like a like a V pattern right here here's the ends so we're doing a little V or if you want to look at it like a little Christmas tree kind of a thing and here's this, this you know the the main uh, what is this called, everyone? <laughs> I am so at loss for words sometimes when I'm doing the videos. I don't think about and prepare what I'm going to say. I just go with what I know. And so I, I get lost. The trunk. This is the trunk of the tree, and here's your little bit. Then, of course, at the top, they're a little too long, so you trim them, at, you know, up here. Right now, it looks like a little teepee. But anyway, I've decided that I want them to be, you know, just eyeball it. This is about five inches shorter so I'm going to cut the same up here on these I'm going to cut them about five six inches let me measure that because I want to tell you okay I'm doing it six inches you guys I'm going to cut six inches so my first one is 18 inches and the, the other two are uh, that would make them 12 inches each now of course you're going to decide what lengths you want to do this okay but if you're going to follow what i'm doing that's the measurement that i'm using okay so we're going to take these two i'm going to put them off to the side because we're going to start off with this one now the first thing i'm going to decide is that i want 
a cluster of ribbons hanging at the very tip here. So I'm going to use these thinner ribbons that I have here. Let me pop this one open. Look at this color. It's like a very pale, like a sage. And then I've got a little pinky one here. And I've got a really pretty ivory one. You can use whites in here, of course. But these are the colors that I just happened to purchase. I really like these. And I'm just combining all these uh, tones. So I'm just going to take lengths of this ribbon. And um, it doesn't matter if one's longer than the other. You know, it doesn't. none of that matters. I'm going to cut this one because it has a little bit of a, a fold there. And it won't straighten up. Okay, and then I'm going to cut all these at an angle to the ends. This one's already pretty much at an angle. Okay, so I've cut the ends. You see that? They're like little angles there. You can cut them however you want. If you want them straight, go ahead. Now, they don't have to be the same, eh, eh, oh my goodness, the same length. <laughs> All right, so I just want a small, like a little short little tail at the very bottom hanging off of my swag. So this doesn't have to be very long. So let me see. If I decide that length, I am cutting about, oh, I'm cutting about 18 inches. Okay, the same as the, the stem, the wire stem. So just a little, you know, more or less, and I'll just cut them all at the same time, and then they can just kind of, like, pull on one and so forth, so they're not all exactly ending at the same length. Okay, so I'm going to go right about more or less the middle, and then I'm going to take a wire, and this is how you're going to prepare a bunch of these little bundles, like what I'm just doing right now. And that all depends on how much of this you want in your uh, floral spray or floral swag. Now, I will tell you... This is, uh, adding all the ribbon that I'm going to put in here is very appropriate for a wedding. Maybe for your home, you're not going to want to put so many ribbons in there. So you can skip that. You know, you can save some money if you're just doing it for your home or for somebody else's and not have to bother. But if you want to create uh, a few of these, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put another two bundles together. But this time I'm going to go a little bit shorter. And I think I'll just go like 12 inches this time. And these are going to hang from the other two. Uh, wire stems also at the very bottom so I'm going to go ahead and just prepare them now I like to finish off everything when, when I've wrapped it up with wire like this when I've wrapped it up with wire I like to cover the wire with floral tape now I've explained before how, how to use floral tape um, a lot of people don't know this you may know this but for those of you who don't know this floral tape has an adhesive in there, but it's not sticky when you first purchase it. And it's not going to stick if you just try to wrap around it, wrap it around something. You have to pull on it just slightly, and that will release the adhesive that's within its uh, fibers. So you need to pull on it, and that's what's going to make it stick to itself. So you got to make sure that when you're wrapping it around something, the ribbon or the tape is actually overlapping itself. Otherwise, you're just wrapping it around something and it might not stick very well. So just keep pulling it, wrapping, and as you're wrapping it, you're also like pressing it into it, into the, uh, you know, into the other uh, part of the tape. Just press it. You could do, press it as you turn it with this fingers. You could do it with this. I'm kind of doing a little combination. So here we go. I've covered this up very nicely with some floral tape. Now, Here's where you're going to make the decision because you're going to be using a lot of floral tape, okay, to create something like this or even to create a floral bouquet uh, when you're creating swags or bouquets in the steps that I'm doing. You're going to use a lot of floral tape. If you want to save yourself some money, don't do this. What you can do to save yourself some money is take the wire and then, of course, the other end. You're going to put it right at the, you know, the end where the ribbon there is there and then take this wire and wrap it around tightly around this other wire now while you're doing this this is going to be flopping around and it might get a little bent don't worry about it you can straighten it up it's no big deal we don't need it to be super straight we want it to be a natural looking floral spray like you just went out into the field and you just grabbed a bunch of flowers and just wrap them together and they're going to fall as nature wants them to fall okay <laughs> Is that silly to say that? Because, I mean, obviously we're not working with real flowers. Okay, so what you want to do now is you want to take this floral tape, and I like to take the little end and just kind of 
twist it and get it in there first really well and then start wrapping around this so instead of taping it here putting it on here and then taping it again you can skip that and just go straight to taping it once it's here now once it's on here and it's been wired on you know wrapped around here you don't have to go all the way up because you're going to be adding things and as you're adding things you're taping those things down just tape it down enough so that if you don't put a stem or something that's going to get wrapped on here at least that part's already been covered now i know that i'm going to put a stem here somewhere a flower stem and i'm probably going to put it right about here so the flower will come out this way so i don't need to tape this because that'll get taped when i tape the stem but i just need to tape this little bit okay so i can go ahead and just pull it and it breaks off really easily you don't even have to cut it with scissors the other thing you can do is you can also just like we i did with my wire my wire pieces that i cut you know several of them <laughs> wish they're flying everywhere uh, maybe maybe get a little box or a little bucket or something and once you've cut them throw them in there or a little a little cup or something okay then you can also do the same thing with your tape you can cut like four or five inch strips of tape you know just cut them and have them ready and you can just be grabbing and that'll kind of help you kind of do your productivity even faster so now I want to get a flower and I've got all these beautiful flowers but I'm going to take this dahlia because that seems to be the biggest flower. So I'm going to take this stem and I'm going to fold it up just ever like so slightly like that. <laughs> I just like saying that ever so slightly. Okay so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to place it right on top of here and I right where I want to tape it I'm going to put it right against there. So, and the reason that I folded it up is if I had it flat like that, let me just put it, and then I'm going to tape it down when it's hanging off the chair in the back or on the wall. This flower is facing downward. You don't want that. You want to bend it so it's facing upward like that. Okay? And that's what, why I do that. Now, you don't have to leave all this greenery on here. You can remove it or whatever you want to do. Uh, we're actually even going to cut the uh, stem of the flower because we don't need this whole length because um, I am going to be um, adding more flowers here and I only really need enough stem to attach here. But having said that, because this is my first flower, I'm going to go ahead and leave this whole length because I kind of like that to be my di my directive to letting me know how high up um, I kind of want to put flowers because right here, around here, is going to be a big bow and then the other two uh, floral sprays that I'm going to create, just like this one, but shorter, uh, are going to be. So this will get covered up here. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this very first flower the length that it is. So cut your flowers from the bush at the very longest point. If you bought a floral, you know, your flowers and individual stems, which would be way more expensive, so I'm going to suggest buy bushes of flowers. Uh, but if you want to spend, you know, you might as well go for, you know, real flowers if you're going to do that. Of course, real flowers are nice if you're going to have a florist come and do all that for you, or if that's the only thing you're going to do. But if you got a lot of things to do, Full flowers are the way to go. You can have them ready way ahead of time. Oh, of course, if I'm doing this, I don't need, I don't use those little pieces. I can use the tape right off the roll. So I'm just gonna roll this up. All right, so here I have the stem all wrapped up to the point where it ends right there. And then of course, I've just got bare wire over here. That's okay. That'll eventually get covered. But at least I have this part done and I've got that nice little stem that gives it a little bit more body. So it's not so wishy-washy. <laughs> but we still want it to have some give. We do want it to kind of flop around a little bit. That gives it a natural look. And then it'll, it'll hang nicer off the chair. Okay, so what we're gonna build is on this same um, uh, row here this wire we're gonna add some flowers and we're gonna be tucking them in here and there and uh, if we want we can also be adding more uh, of this wire or you know these little ribbon bits or we could do little loops and put them in there actually this one and this other one are for the ends when I do the other two sprays so I'm gonna put those aside so I make sure that I don't confuse them and then I'll do a separate look for uh, on here okay so the next flower that I'm going to choose it has some roses so I'm gonna go with one of these big roses and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna bend this a little bit 
And I want this flower to kind of be like right here on the side of it. This is also a way to create a bouquet, you guys, okay? So now I wanna tape that on there, but I'm just gonna cut some of the length because I don't wanna end up with a big, thick, bulky uh, piece here. So I'm just gonna put this as close as I can, right where I bent it, get some more tape, and then start taping around. And well, I started it with wanting it this side, but it ended up on this side. That's okay. We accept it wherever it wants to go, as long as it goes with our plan. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So let me get another, I'm sorry, I'm itching here. Let me get another kind of a, big flower and we're going to use uh, this one i'm going to push the greenery up a little bit too fold this up a little bit and i'm creating a little triangle here see we're creating a triangle of flowers right there nice and close to each other i'm going to go ahead and trim this one also okay you guys don't be all messy like i am like i said any little wires you cut, put them in a little bowl or a little cup or something. Have another little recipient for some pieces of tape. Um, if you cut those ahead of time, you know, you want to have them ready. Uh, so they don't get all like, you know, kicked off the table and such. Okay, I'm going to put this one right about here. You can see that in the back. I'm putting it right about here. It's just a tiny little bit lower than that rose that I added here. I'm going to go just a little bit lower so that everything is not so lined up, okay? Oh, you can see how it's forming. Now, I can take these three ribbons again and I can grab the three again. They don't have to be, you know, perfectly aligned here. Just grab them. And I want a ribbon about that long, little tail. And at this point I can twist, grab all three, all messy, don't worry about it. Make a loop, make another loop, twist, and make another loop, okay? And that's it, we only wanna do three loops. You can do more if you want, but less is more. <laughs> Well, I think when it comes to weddings and special parties, more is best. <laughs> you want to make it nice and full. Okay. If this swag were bigger, of course, I'd make a ton of these same sprays and then just double it up and triple it. And, and um, I'll, I'll explain maybe later. Not maybe, but I will. Hopefully I'll remember what I meant by that. Okay, so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it right in here and tape it down so I have a little bowl right there. And you guys, right there, just like this, this makes a nice, pretty little, you can just cut it right here, wrap it up with some uh, more tape, of course, cut it right here, wrap it up with some ribbon, and you know what? If you're doing a simple wedding, this would make a nice little bouquet. This could be for your, you know, your attendants, your damas, your bridesmaids, uh, uh, is actually the word not attendance, but I guess attendance would be another word. Um, this could be for your uh, bridesmaids. It could be for the toss away bouquet. It could even be for the bride. You know, if you're doing something really simple and she's got three favorite flowers, buy those three flowers only and just make her the bouquet that she wants. Just like that. Really pretty, really simple. Okay, I'm gonna keep adding flowers. So I'm gonna use a Dollar Tree flower. I think it's really pretty, this rose. And add it in there again. I'm, I already bent it. I have just a habit of already bending it. So just to let you know, that's going to happen with every flower. Cut it, cut short a stem here. Okay, so look at that. How much more it's already built. How beautiful would this look if this was a corsage, you guys? This would be the same way to build a corsage, but less flowers, okay? Or smaller flowers, probably. I don't know if somebody would want it. Why not, right? Why not? Somebody might want a big, giant a corsage like that <laughs> okay let's see I am going to add in this lovely this lovely uh, stem here because I like these little flowers and how they're flopping around and I want to put them right here in the middle so I'm going to cut 
my stem and tape it down. And I'm gonna go like somewhere like in between these roses, like in there, so that just kind of hangs out like that. That looks really pretty, so use your judgment. I want to get that lavender also. I don't want to forget that I have those little lavender flowers. Those are all the colors that I've been using in this uh, farmhouse um, series, so I want to go ahead and make sure I include those. All right, you guys, I'm going to try to show you how to put all these flowers together. I actually forgot to add some greenery in there, uh, but you can add it at the end. It doesn't really, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, you could actually create a separate little spray and then just add it on there and uh, put it in the back. The, the, I am going to do that with a fern, but with these little smaller ones, I can actually go in here and just tuck in wherever I want a, uh, let me get this one. This one's got a nicer little bit here that, are, that end this. I'm just going to move the greenery up a little bit on here because they were like way down here. So I'm just moving them up a little bit. You can find a little spot back here tuck them in there and just make sure that it kind of comes out the you know here so when you were putting that ribbon you could add this greenery but it's not too late to add it in okay so I'm just gonna go in between these stems move the flowers over that's my doggie she barks at everything because I'm not in the room with her so and she also does that because she knows that I'll go over there and look at look to see and <laughs> But I've got cameras, so I can see, and they'll let me know if somebody's actually out there. Usually it's just a little kitty cat. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> she's, she's, she's gotten this little habit now where um, she barks just because she wants me or my husband to go and be with her if we've left her alone. Okay, so now that I've taped that in there and I've worked my way in there, I have a little bit of stem. I don't need to tape that down. I'm going to go ahead and just trim that off okay so now I've got this pretty little ivy coming out of the bottom forgive me for having forgotten that step but it's actually a good thing that it happened because I was able to show you how you can add it in if you forget so I've got these other pieces and I'm going to use them for the other sprays I don't want to use too much I can just use a little bit um, I have more it's no big deal uh, I like this one. Look at, I don't know what this is called, but I really like this. But it's like really long, so I'm going to go in here and cut it. And I'm going to cut it, let's see, right at this. I want this to be the, the, the end point of this stem. Just like, you know, I have this little floppy bit. I want there to be a little floppy bit. So I'm going to cut right in there, as close as I can, above this. There we go. So now we have this as a little stem piece and we've got an end to that stem. We don't have like an odd, you know, piece just there. And then of course we have this. And I don't need this one leaf down here at the bottom, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. Okay, this one I also want to kind of come off the sides here. So I'm going to put one on this side, tape it down, and then I'm going to take the other piece and put it on the other side. And these will come out of the sides and that will be really pretty okay take this vine and this has a lot of greenery on it as you can see this would be a lot to add here so I'm actually going to cut this smaller uh, piece this one and I'm also going to trim off this one leaf that I have here at the bottom I don't need that because I need enough stem here to be able to tape this down and I'm going to also I'm going to bend it up but then curve this down because I want it to come up then I want it to curve down like that okay and put that right in here see right in there lower than what I put this one and I put that one between these two roses so I'm gonna put that one right in here right where I bent it I'm gonna tape it and I want you to see how that this piece here where the wire this whole wire here has now become this thicker piece but it's not so thick it's still nice and thin and it's uh, flexible moves around real nicely so my uh, swag or my spray can hang okay taping this up and I am going to repeat this process on the other two pieces of wire that I cut it I believe I said 12 inches and I'm going to create sprays just like I did this 
But I'm not going to use as many flowers. I'm going to use less because they're going to be shorter and they're all going to have a, a piece of wire that's going to be popping out the very end and we'll worry about that later. But we're going to do this for now and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with the pieces of fern and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm glad that, um, again, I didn't put them on because I can show you the, how you can either have this very simple or add even more greenery to it and then you can decide if you want to incorporate ferns or some other big leaf. I had said the magnolia leaves. I think the magnolia leaves will look beautiful in this, you guys. I, I couldn't find any and I was going to go out of town but then I didn't have time. So anyway, I'm going to create the other two shorter ones and this time I'm going to incorporate these little rosebuds that are in here. And I shall be back with the other two formed. I may add maybe a little bit more to this one uh, once I put the other two here. I'm not going to tape them down. I'm just going to do them and then I'm going to see. And if I feel like I need another flower here, I'll add another one. And I'll you'll obviously see because I'll let you know if I did add any more. And then you'll see the other two finished. Like I said, it's going to be the exact same step. So I don't feel like I need to show you that. You'll just stop like at this point, you know, rather than adding these extra flowers, okay? You're just like about that much. All right, everyone, so I have been building this uh, piece here with these uh, fern leaves, and I'm just using these because it's a nice big leaf, and uh, I'll just show you that you can use this. You don't have to do this, okay? If you don't like it, you prefer not to do that, then leave that out. Of course, you could be building these into your, um, you know, your your sprays as you're creating this but because I didn't do that I'm doing it as a separate item so I've just been adding the leaves and I've been going down on the uh, wire here that I started off with and I started off with the whole length of it and what I'm doing is I take this and I, at the very bottom I cut off some some of these leaves cut off you know this little plastic edge here cut off these leaves and that'll give you a nice little um, stem there. Now if it's too thick at the bottom you could always get your wire cutter and you know trim that wire you know that plastic that harder plastic so I'm just gonna attach it even lower I could grab a piece of wire wrap it on there first and then wrap it onto here with a wire but it's working just fine if I'm just adding them like this I'm sorry I have to grab my wire <laughs> okay so all you gotta do is just move down some don't you don't put it at the same length There's just move down actually this one, this one should have gone after this one because you should move like the longer leaves and then shorter as you go down. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We're just going to do this. I'm going to tape this onto the wire. Let me cut this so I don't have to do that. Okay. So now that I've got this... Let's just finish taping right there. It's fine. So now that you've got this, what you'll do is because uh, these this uh, fern has wire and they're bendable, so that's one thing you want to check on your leaves when you're buying them. Your on your bushes, if there's wire on here, just bend one, and if it stays, you know that it has wire, and that's a good a good greenery you want to get. So I'm just fanning them out like that. I'm going to take the larger piece of, uh, you know, the spray, the swag that I made, and I'm going to put that right on top. And then I've got the two wires here. And see, this is where you decide if that's too much. If that's too much for you, don't put it on there. I'm going to put this a little bit higher on here. I mean, a little bit lower. Okay. Let me tell you something. Once you've got this built, well, let me go ahead and finish build, the, building this, and I'll and I'll show you. I'm going to take the the wire from uh, either one and wrap it onto around the uh, stem pieces. That helps to keep them together. So I'm going to wrap them up like that. Okay. So I went ahead and I made the other two floral sprays here. And they're much smaller, as you can see. And maybe all you need is something small like this, as I had explained. I did add the, the lavender bits. I have forgotten on this one, but I, I got them in there. You guys, I did get them in there. And uh, this pretty little leaf. So I'm going to have this one shooting out. So I have the lavender shooting out this way. Let me move the camera so you can see this a little bit better because it's getting bigger. Okay, so now I'm going to take this floral spray, like I had said. 
and I'm going to put it right on top of here and I'm going to kind of curve it outward on the stem here put that on top of the other one and I'm going to take the wire from it and just wrap it up wherever I can with the other piece that's there and then I want to tape this tape it down actually I'm going to trim some leaves off this fern right here because they're kind of in the way of where I want to wrap tape okay that's cut off start as high as you can and I did put the this little uh, loop like I had over here but this one instead of making three loops I just did two made it a little bit smaller this loop right here I just did one and then another one over here with all three ribbons and I just tuck it in there and see I just used three flowers on this one there we go well plus this one here okay so then this one that I've added sprays out to the side and bend it so that it's not covering this. Now keep in mind this is really big, it's coming out really big. If you don't want it this big you'll stop at this size and maybe you don't want to add these ferns. I would add magnolia leaves. I cannot say that enough. <laughs> okay now I want to bend this one you know out that way. Again put the, the stems here together. Oh, now, if you're wondering why I have my glue gun, I, I did use it, and then just, okay, anyway, let me just uh, roll these together. I did use it anywhere where a, a, pet, a flower was coming off of the stem, it was too, you know, too loose, or a leaf was coming out, I just added a little bit of hot glue and glued it as I poked it back in so that it wouldn't come off, so that you want to have a, your hot glue just ready for that. Okay, now I'm going to tape all this at the highest point as I can. Okay, and I'm just going to tape it. And I can trim off these wires here. Just bend this one down and make sure you don't have any poking straight out. Okay, so now I'm going to just tape this down really good, you guys. I'm going to go get a chair so that I can show you how I put this on the chair. All right, so I'm back, and I've gone ahead and I made a bow. It's just uh, four loops, but it is three ribbons that I used in there um you want to see how i do handmade bows i do have a playlist on that as well and uh, you go to my channel just like i said go to playlist and then just look for handmade bows um i'm still trying to figure out how to get this chair in a position where it's high up so that you can see but uh before i go on i was going to explain something earlier like i said um my preference would be not to use these these ferns on here because this gives it a different look um, this gives it more of a cemetery arrangement look the ferns that's just why I kept trying to say get some magnolia leaves <laughs> something big and filling you know to fill this up that would be nice or maybe a different type of fern I feel like this gives it too much of a funeral vibe uh, but if you wanted to use this for a funeral you could certainly do that it's really beautiful uh, you could make two of them and what I would do is I would take the the two thick stems like this stack them up on top of each other wire them down really well tape them up if you want and then have a bow and tape it right here so that then you would have a swag coming out that way and a swag coming out this way and this would make a beautiful arrangement to place over on top of the coffin and even on the plot at the burial site that feels a little sad but um some of us are looking to know how to create something for that type of a, a service, so you could also use that. So um, it's up to you if you want to use ferns, but um, I just that's just what my thought is. And if you look at uh, funeral arrangements, you'll see a lot of ferns, a lot of arrangements have ferns coming out like that. So uh, that is just me using this as an example of how it looks with some big leaves. I think I would prefer this particular arrangement without it, so I, I might just pull that out of here for my chair. Okay, I've got my um, burlap. I've gone ahead and I've measured around the back of the chair just enough to tie this around and maybe a little bit of a, a little tails hanging off. I'll do the same with this ribbon, but let me figure out how I can get the chair uh, in a placement where it's high enough. Um, and I have room in this room to do that. <laughs> okay, I'll be back.
All right, everyone, so I'm back, <laughs> and I've got a nice white chair here that I got from my dining room table. I thought, wow, this is perfect. I have the right, the perfect chair for this. But anyway, um, my chair does have this little oval back here, and I could just tie something around here if I didn't want to put this around, or you could even tie it around like that uh, onto the top part of a chair. Uh, but I think it looks really pretty when you wrap a fabric or a tool or something around a chair. As you can see, I'm using this burlap, and it actually looks really pretty. So I'm going to take um, this ribbon as well, and I'm just going to cut enough to go around, and then tie and just knot it around. You could use some chenille stems at this point if you want to use that to wire them together, uh, but I'm just going to knot it. Right here, nice and tight. go you can knot them together at the same time well, like I said use some wire it might be a better uh, option for you to do that okay so now we're gonna hide all that because I'm gonna wrap around this the two knotted parts of these ribbons I've already tied the the ribbon on here on the top part of the stem just wrap the wire around it you could uh, continue uh, using some more floral wire if you want to hide that. I'm just going to leave it like that and then I'm going to take another piece of long, long piece of wire and I'm also going to wrap that onto the stem piece. Wrap it around a couple of times and then twist the two ends together to have these two ends coming upward or out of it from the back and I'm wrapping it a little low down here okay this is where I'm putting this wire okay I'm not grabbing it from way up here I'm grabbing it from down here and then that part will get wired onto here and to save you the, um, the horrif hor horrifying view of my back and my arm in the camera just you know that I'm going to wrap it around the knot here and just tie up the knot, the wire behind behind it and just kind of fold it up. The little ends are hanging off too much so they don't show. And then I'll poof up the bow and I'll be back with the uh, finished decorated chair. All right, everyone, so I have completed my swag. I've gone ahead and I've tied the bow onto there as I showed you and it's now tied onto the ribbon of my chair right on the knot. Okay, so just make sure that you tie it up really good and that any ends of wire that you direct them towards the outside and not the inside towards where someone's back will be here. They sit down, they're going to get poked. So just be very careful about those things. If you want to use chenille stem, you can do that and use that instead. Or if you want to use a piece of ribbon to tie it up or maybe even make a little loop with a ribbon and use a safety pin to attach it, that'll work just as well. I think it came out really good and I'm really proud of it. I think the burlap behind it looks really nice. It really elevates the look of the uh, whole whole farmhouse look with these beautiful uh, ribbons that have some have lace on them and this like damask finish on them, a little elegant touch with the burlap. It looks fantastic, at least to my opinion. So I hope that you like it. So anyway, you guys, I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up and I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and leave a nice comment down below and let me know what you think of this idea. If you'll be doing it, here I'm giving you all the tools so that you know how to put together a swag or a floral spray, whatever you want to call it. And uh, now you can do whatever you want with that design. You can put it anywhere create whatever you want uh, and I hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and thank you to everyone who has been subscribing make sure you hit that little notification bell so that you get notified of when I upload my videos which is every Tuesday and every Friday I'm going to continue to the end of February with two more wedding uh, farmhouse wedding uh, ideas and then I'll return to my regular schedule, which is crafts on Tuesdays and recipes on Fridays. And once in a while, I'll have a little weekend vlog for you. All right, everyone, make sure you share on your social medias. And as always, enjoy.